All right, talking about the mind, body, and spirit partnership, it's, uh, for me, it, it doesn't matter what you uh, define as spirit. It could be willpower, it could be your spirit, it could be, uh, it could be your inner strength, uh, whatever it is that you, you, you want to call it. But all of us has something deeper than just our mind and body. And uh, that's, why, that's why we love the movie Rocky so much is uh, we know that he dug into his heart, he dug into his will, he dug into his spirit to, uh, to win. Now, the mind-body-spirit partnership, it's, it's probably the most important part of success because you have to be balanced mind, body, and spirit. See, if, you, if your body, if, you, if your body doesn't feel well, you can't perform. And th that's the only vessel that we have to carry us through this thing called life. And if your mind isn't working well, then you can't think properly. And then if you can't think properly, you can't make proper choices and proper decisions and come up with proper solutions to become more successful. And then there's another part of us, the, the, the spirit inside of us, the, uh, the willpower, the drive, the, the inner motivation. Um, that part of us has to be developed uh, separate from just the mind and body. And, and uh, in the Amazon rainforest, there's a lot of people that go down there to try to study uh, how to develop their spirit. And what, what they do is they, uh, they weaken their body by not eating for weeks and weeks and weeks at a time. And then what ends up happening is that their body and mind start to become so weak, all they have is to rely on their spirit. Well, I think there's other ways to do this. Uh, not only do I think that, I know that there is. I, I, I've... I felt it. I've been there. I've proven it. And uh, ways that you can develop it is you can work so hard. And I know you've all experienced this, where you've worked so hard that you have nothing left. You have nothing left physically. You have nothing left mentally or emotionally. But then you decide if you're going to keep going or not. And that's when we break into this, this willpower, this, this spirit. Um, you have to balance all three of these areas, and and uh, this will this will give you unmeasurable growth. Now, when we work on becoming one percent better every day, that means we got to work on our mind, our body, and our spirit every day. Um, developing all of these areas is something that that it's difficult. It takes time. It takes a lot of work. Um, but if you do it. If you start to work to become better, mind, body, and spirit, you will grow and you will, you will uh, be able to take on any goal or anything that you want in this world. Um, and I don't care what that is, relationship, uh, financial, whether it's, uh, whether it's you want something that you want to go win an Olympic gold medal, you want to you accomplish something that you've never accomplished before. Well, that takes mind, body, and spirit. Now, when I was squatting every single day, for 500 days. This is a great example to talk about growing mind, body, and spirit. See, what would happen is I would physically be so tired from squatting some days that inside my whole body would be telling me, I can't do it. It's not strong enough. And it would feel weak. And I'm not talking about my mind. I'm talking about my body. I would, I would take an inner dialogue of myself, start to look at myself and say, how am I feeling today? And it, I felt weak. You know, I was squatting every day to max for 500 days. Uh, by day three, I felt weak. By day 80, I felt real weak. By day 400, uh, it, it can't even be explained how I felt. But the numbers kept going up, and I kept becoming stronger. And what would happen is, is as my body felt weaker, and even though it was regenerating, and even though it was becoming stronger, my mind would on days where my body felt really weak, it would start to say, oh, don't worry, body, we got you, you can do this, we got this, we got this. Well, then some days, my body, it was tired, and then my mind would say, no, no, we can't do this, you're too tired, you're too weak, you're, you're not strong enough, uh, this, this was a bad idea, don't, don't finish this, don't do this, and then, I started to dig into my spirit, into my will. And I started to look at myself and say, say from an inner place and say, well, I set out to do a goal. And despite how I feel, despite how, what my mind is saying, I'm in control here. My spirit is in control here. And 
I'm going to do this. I'm going to make it. And I started to feel my spirit grow, my willpower grow. And the only way to get there is your mind and your body have to get to a place where they don't know if they can keep going. Like in the movie Rocky or like in any, any really powerful show where you see somebody where they've broken down so much that you're just screaming for them to just keep going. You can do this. You can keep going. And we know we've broken down to a place of heart. And uh, for me, it was very easy to find it in squatting. It's very easy to find it in wrestling, in jiu-jitsu, in, in anything where there is, is sport, in combat, in business. Um, we all reach the mind-body-spirit uh, balance. And it's very important that we find balance in those areas and strengthen all three at the exact same time. So the mind-body-spirit balance, if I could suggest anything for anyone out there, work 1% on the lowest area of, of yourself and, and try to start to balance those areas out. Because once you find balance and homeostasis in those three, the sky's the limit.